Well, hello there guys, RiderVM here. And uh, this short video is actually a clarification on the Castle of Shadows, aka uh, Demon Castle in China. Um, now, if you remember on my first part of that playthrough of Castle of Shadows, um, I have actually just researched and uh, to be honest, um, the information that I spewed out on the part 1 of Castle of Shadows playthrough to be inaccurate is to be an injustice on that part. I just realized that upon my research that the information that I have said on that playthrough is really, really inaccurate. And so to clarify this, um, this short video will show you um, the earlier games made by China Wireless Arts as well as the Castle Demon series that they have released on mobile phones on that time. And so let's start with Demon's Castle. Um, now to be honest, um, this game is actually not considered to be part of the Demon's Castle series by China Wireless Arts, but it is their first game that they released with this name. Uh, let's just say that this game isn't really that good. Moving on. Okay, and now this is Demon's Castle. This is the first game to be really considered to be part of their Demon Castle series. And as you can see, this was the time that they were starting to have a really good idea on what kind of gameplay they would want to have. Which is, you know, a rip-off of Castlevania's Infinite of the Night game. Still though, for a mobile game, it is. This game series is pretty impressive, especially on the time of its release. Which is, if, if I researched correctly, it was um, the early 2000s. That, which is way inaccurate compared to the first um, information that I gave in my Castle of Shadows playthrough, which I said like it was in the middle of the 90s, I think. All, all footage of these games were recorded using um, a Java game emulator, which unfortunately due to compatibility problems, I was forced to use too. 
so if you guys actually wanted uh, to play these games I could package you a uh, combination that would also include all five games as well as the two Java emulators so please um, give us um, your suggestions for if you wanted to play these games and give you a download link later So this guys is Demon's Castle 2. Storyline wise, this is the this is a direct continuation of Demon's Castles. Um, now to add information, if you had noticed already, um, these games actually had no sound effects and only have music. This is uh, because of the limitations of the Java platform on that time. Either you get only music or only sound effects and most developers choose to only have music because um, playback of uh, any kind of sound would always uh, let's just say slow down the cell phone so putting sound effects would make games like this really slow because any kind of sound effects that happen would slow down a game a bit which is already problematic on the on the mobile phone because it was already slow in regards to games. And now, this is Demon's Castle 3, starting with a pretty impressive introduction movie. Now, this is could be considered the prequel to Castle of Shadows, but in China though, this is actually part 3 of the Demon Castle series. And this contains the story of Montano, which is unrelated to the first three Demon's Castle games that I have shown you earlier. And as you can see, the gameplay of this uh, game is now very very similar 
to Castle of Shadows that was released on Android. The biggest difference between Demon Castle 3 and Castle of Shadows are actually minimal at best. Um, you have similar um, weapons, but aesthetically they differ only a bit. Their biggest difference would be the magic that you could get on each sword that you could get in the story. Also, to add, I also did try to find any kind of English release or even uh, English fan translations of the Demon Castle series, but unfortunately I wasn't successful, so perhaps um, there wasn't really any English versions of these games, which is sad really. And lastly, here it is, Demon's Castle 4, also known as Castle of Shadows. Now for the big differences between um, the earlier Java game version versus the Android port, besides the intro, there isn't really much actually. Um, but of course, the Android version was much improved because first, um, the playing field is much bigger, you now get sound effects, and they have also actually changed the background music used in the game. So this makes the Android version much much better, not to mention it is free, although it has in-app purchases. While uh, the mobile version, you pay for the game. The Java version, you pay for the game while you also still pay for the in-app purchases by using your load. So I hope this video clarifies um, the information about Demon's Castle series from China Wireless Arts. Um, if I am interested in um, playing through the other Demon's Castle games, for now it's not really my highest priority though. Um, perhaps in the future, um, I'm actually trying to finish the other games if, um, like Mizuhiro and Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, uh, or at least most of its uh, story, story sections. And so, this is Rider VM. I hope you liked this video, so you could like it and subscribe as well if you wanted to. And uh, I hope that I will see you guys in another video.